You wake up hoping for a productive day. Today, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna study, and I'm definitely not watching porn or playing video games. Definitely not. A few minutes later, you've already busted three nuts and have played 19 hours of CSGO. Another day wasted. But it's fine, you say to yourself. It's fine because I can make up the lost time tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow I'm gonna study double and I'm gonna work out for two hours instead of one. But wait, you said the same thing yesterday. You're not doing it tomorrow, bro. You will waste tomorrow as well. Let's be honest. Are you stuck in this cycle? I was stuck in the cycle for the longest time. I think a whole year I wasted like this. But don't worry, I've got a solution to you. And it's called self-accountability. If you hold yourself accountable to your failures day to day, you will eventually fix them. But how do I do that, you ask? Well, step one. Never put off any tasks. See, if you say you're gonna do it tomorrow, that means you're saying, I'm never gonna do it. It's the same thing. You will not be a different person tomorrow. You probably feel the same way about the task tomorrow. So never say I'm gonna do it tomorrow. It's the equivalent of saying I'm never gonna do it. Instead say, okay, I may have wasted a few hours here. What can I do to salvage the rest of my day? This is the question you should be asking yourself. You should never put off anything until tomorrow or until later in the day. Because if you put it off later in the day, you're probably not going to do it. If you're putting it off, you lose that time. You never get that time back. Time cannot come back. Now let's give you an example. Let's say you missed your workout today. Now, there's two things you can do. One thing you can say is, okay, I'm gonna work out tomorrow, which as we've established earlier, you're not gonna work out tomorrow. Or you can say, okay, I have a few hours left today. I'm gonna work out now because I have time now. I'm not gonna put it off because I know if I put it off, I'm never gonna do it. Never put off anything. Step two, keep a diary. I cannot stress this enough. Keeping a diary is one of the most important things you can do. You can literally, every day, write down your mistakes and search for a solution. Every single day you can do this. You can self-analyze every action you make with a diary. It is so important keeping a diary. The only way to not waste your potential and to make sure you're holding yourself accountable every single day about every single thing is to write it down in a diary. Because you can literally just go back I can go back to two days ago, three days ago, whatever. I can go back and just check out exactly what I wrote down and I can track my progress. Keeping a diary is completely essential. Step three, have humility. Okay, this step is very simple. Just be humble. Don't let overconfidence and pride cloud your judgment. If you're not humble, if you don't have humility, you will never see your mistakes and you will never fix them. So, in order to be self-accountable, you need to have humility. So, in conclusion, what have you learned from this video? Holding yourself accountable for every action you do is essential for self-improvement. All right, all right. Good video, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. It's my first one.
Thanks for watching, but really, for the tips I just gave you, you should be thanking me for watching this, okay? Uh, check out my other videos. <laughs> I don't have any other videos. Hmm. Be ruthless.